Welcome to the Odyssey, my friends. I am Mike Odyssey. And you see this smile? This smile is for you. This is because I am so grateful that you are here. It is Thanksgiving week. Happy Thanksgiving. And what better way to show gratitude, right? I, I, I adore you guys. Thank you for being here. And I appreciate you. We got some Nintendo news to go over. I mean, actual news that's happening around Nintendo. And so we can go back to that and just go for it. I know there is Switch 2 news. I'm going to share that with you as well regarding the release for March. There's just more stuff that's happening that I think you want to know as well. But we got Nintendo news everywhere. So I'm going to go back to my old self, the one that I just enjoy when they make news and give it, you give you news, right? Not only that, but this video is also sponsored, right? There's a little sponsor here that's very, very fun. I promise you, you will love this product here. It is Black Friday and, uh, and they approached me and I think that was, that I, I thought that you would love it. I would not say yes to anything that I think they, I don't think you will love, right? And if you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Check out this one minute clip. This one minute clip this is about me, what 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 I am. If you to subscribe and stuff, and if not, then use the timestamp below to skip through to the main topic. Let's go ahead and get started with this, this video. Thank you so much for being here. I am Mike Odyssey, and I want to talk to you first a little bit about me on a personal side, and of course, then let you know why you should subscribe to this channel. Well, I am a dad. I am a husband. I have a beautiful family, and of course, I have a Nintendo family here on YouTube. On the personal side, I am legally blind. I am disabled, and I am losing my sight. Little by little, it'll get there, but guess what? That's not going to hold me back from pursuing this and, of course, doing the best I can as a content creator. I also am a really big advocate for disabilities and of course autism because i myself have a daughter with autism so if that is motivation enough for you to subscribe go ahead and do so i thank you so much but here's why you should subscribe i work hard for you i give you monday through friday content including news reviews unboxings and of course every friday night our nin topics podcast live here with an amazing crew and i know you will love it we have an amazing community here on the channel and i would love for you to join it and let me be the first to welcome you on this journey here on team odyssey all right, my friends. So let's start out with this 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 good news in Nintendo with the drop of a new NSO game for Nintendo Switch Online, the base model. You don't have to have the expansion pack for this one. Nintendo just said, "Hey, it's 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 up to Diddy Kong and Dixie Kong to rescue Donkey Kong from Captain K. Rule." Yes, Nintendo just dropped their second Donkey Kong game on NSO Donkey Kong Land Two, which is very very cool. Nintendo's kind of on a roll. Maybe they're doing this Nintendo X Direct again and dropping more information during the holiday season. Uh, um, I think it was last week they dropped Donkey Kong uh, Land and this week Donkey Kong Land 2. We know that Donkey Kong is coming in January for Nintendo Switch. So maybe this is just something they're doing before they drop that game um, to celebrate Donkey Kong, right? So there we have it. That's the first thing. Donkey Kong Land 2 is available on NSO right now. Go check it out. Go play it. But after you watch this video all right next up in the news we have this amazing really cool metroid prime book that was just kind of you know announced it's called the metro prime one to three a visual retrospective art book coming in summer of 2025 is this hinting of a metro uh prime 4 2025 release no it's not it's just giving us this book which i believe that by the time it's released we would have all Metro Prime games on Nintendo Switch. That I do believe. That I do believe. But it's a pretty cool book. I mean, the art is nice. I would love to have that on a t-shirt. And it is, it's coming up in 2025. Does it give us any more information that, other than it has 212 pages? And it's about, uh, it's a retros retrospective on Metro Prime 1, 2, and 3. And it goes for $49.99. So... There you have it. If you are a Metro, a Metro Prime fan, a Metro fan, this is for you. Brain Age, train your brain in minutes. Just add it to Nintendo Music. You can you download this if you have NSO on your phone. It's called Nintendo Music. It has a beautiful library of games that, that are continually growing. And so, yeah, we have just Brain Age. Train your brain is add it to nintendo music if you like that that is for you and i congratulate you for it all right so let's get into nintendo switch 2 news but before take a look at this little clip here that i think you might like 
All right, so I have here the Pixel 64 Pixel Art Cloud Frame, which is very cool. It's made by Divu right there, and it is a social media counter, crypto and stock tracker, a music visualizer, meaning that it'll actually play or move to the sound of the music, and a pixel lighting decorator, which is very cool. So it's actually a pixel frame with digital assets you can see here on, on the screen here. So let's go ahead and unbox it here real quick. And I think this is one of the coolest things I've seen in a while. I wanted this so bad because I wanted to track my social media and my YouTube count here and to keep it on, a, on like on the studio while um, away from YouTube, have a way to track the channel and see how it's doing when it comes to subscriber count. And this is a very cool um, piece of tool for that, which is super awesome. Not only that, but you can you know add any decorations you want which is very cool. Let's go ahead and open it right there. It comes with a nice padding here and it protects it very well. Now you also wanna go ahead and download the app. It has a little QR code here that could actually help you download the app quickly. Call right, the Pixu 64. All right, so now we have it here. It's completely turned on, which is very, very cool. I absolutely love this. Look at this. It's, it's, it's This is like an, like an example of all of the things you could do, right? All the artwork you can add. I mean, these these animations are super cool. Uh, they're animated, of course, just like this one. It's adorable. And, and I mean, you can add this and so much more. Um, not only that, but guess what? If you use the app, there's way, I mean, there's so much more. So many animations. Look at Luigi's right there. I mean, you can add all of these animations here. We got the minions, we got the one up uh, mushroom there. This is very cool. There's so much you could do with this with this frame. You can add a clock to it and use it as a clock on your wall. You can track your stocks. You can, um, I mean, there's so many things you can do here. Like I'm gonna use it to track my YouTube account. I'm gonna put it on my wall and have my YouTube uh, account, subscriber account on there. And, and that's something you can do when you pair your phone we did that and you log into your um your your account and have it display here which is very very cool but man i am so impressed with this digital art frame here and i think it's just gonna add to the studio like a little a little life right look at that this is so cool like a little alien cat if you are interested there are links down below in the description uh join their black friday sale going on right now on their shop i have links in all of the information on the description of this video so don't forget to check that link down below and then um visit their shop they might have other things you might like as well so thank you again divu for for sponsoring this section of the video and sending us a, the pixu 64 uh it's a it's called the pixel 64 uh pixel art cloud frame so awesome so thank you again divu for sending us this pixel 64 and for sponsoring this video all right, so we are here with Nintendo Switch 2 News. I'm just going to go ahead and do a little disclaimer here. I am only covering the news. I don't make the news. And I welcome everyone who wants to comment down below, even if you disagree. Guess what? If you disagree, do it respectfully. Do it clean because we are a family channel. And I, I would appreciate that because I, I enjoy everyone's comments. I value everyone's opinions. And, and we are we're a community here that we don't shy away from just kind of you know, we don't have to agree with everything, right? So I welcome your disagreement, but make sure you just do it respectfully and do it clean with no insults to me or my community. And we can go ahead and just continue uh, covering the news, okay? Because we're covering Nintendo news and this is all it is. It's news, right? Or rumors, whatever we're covering at the time. So let's go ahead and get to it. A Chinese insider, okay, claims that Nintendo Switch 2 is getting revealed in January for a March launch. Now, we covered that yesterday, right? That portion we did cover yesterday. Uh, thanks for uh, to my, my buddy Nate over at Nintendo Prime who who brought that Ninja, that news to light over a uh, post from a leaker on Weibo, right? But what we didn't know is now that Central Leaks has kind of got, gone behind and revealed that this same leaker is is not just anybody let's go ahead and read here it says here this person leaked in weibo correctly pretty much everything regarding the last nintendo direct but was largely ignored in the west uh what do they mean like largely ignored in the west by us right the west the united states portion of the world we completely uh we we ignored their nintendo direct leaks completely i guess maybe because we had other sources but they did apparently have 
the entire Nintendo Direct cor correctly, and they leaked it before the Direct actually happened. So, with this information, that kind of gives a little more credibility to the to the leaker. Again, I myself, I'm like you. I have to be on the safe side. I think that January to March. I first thing I, I agree that Nintendo Switch Two should have a a shorter re well reveal to release window. And the reason why I say this is because if we're getting another Nintendo Switch, right? It's just bigger, more powerful, more powerful. Nintendo really doesn't need to do much to sell us on it other than give us new video games that we want to buy, right? And and then and, and if there's the if that's the only thing that the Switch 2 is has is just a better Nintendo Switch, I'm all for it. I think the Switch is fantastic. And that warrants a shorter release window, not an entire year or even six months, right? I, I, I my prediction is always uh, either January to April or April or February to maybe uh, May, right? That's my own prediction. But again, if this uh, leaker has some credibility behind him saying January to March, and I cannot rule it out, right? Nintendo 2025, it is the year of Switch 2 and that is all we know for certain and we know that we're going to see the switch 2 before the fiscal year ends right we never knew it was going to we, ne we don't know whether it's going to be released and revealed within the same fiscal year with only a couple of months left but all we know is that we're going to see it which is very very good news right that's the the the, the, the only thing we have come from from nintendo so far we're going to see the switch 2 before the fiscal year ends in march and so if we get a january release uh reveal great right we're gonna get it anyway it has to come right anytime soon so thank you so much for watching this video i appreciate you more than you know never give up and journey on peace